Hong Kong as a city was a maddening fervor and a pace that is at once highly energetic and also highly draining. Locals and tourists alike know that to truly enjoy Hong Kong, one has to get out of the center for a different view. Thankfully, the city is blessed with beautiful surroundings that make day trips a wonderfully easy feat to manage. Looking for excursion ideas? Here are four day trips to put on your travel planner. Lantau Island could take a whole day or even two. As Hong Kong's largest island, it is blessed with beaches, beautiful peaks with gorgeous views, the Big Buddha, and heritage architecture. Chen Sha Beach is one of Hong Kong's longest stretch of sandy beach. It's not Thailand or the Philippines, but it's a great escape from the hustle and bustle of the city center and isn't crowded, which makes it a perfect spot for a relaxing day. One of the biggest attractions of Lantau Island is the Big Buddha and Paulin Monastery. Buddhist devotes from around the region travel here to see the 34 meter high Buddha statue, which took 12 years to complete. Climb the flight of 268 steps to where the statue is and to take in the expansive view of the mountain and sea around you. The Paulin Monastery is also a beautiful and colorful temple, with a main shrine that adopts the architectural design of the Ming and Qing dynasty. After you can visit the Lantau Peak, it is the second highest summit in Hong Kong and makes for a beautiful hike. If you're up for a fit and fabulous day, try to catch the sunrise at the peak, which means setting off at 4am, but the views more than make up for it. Macau is one of the most popular day trips to take, and there is hardly any reason not to. As a former Portuguese colony, the city offers a hefty mix of casinos, fusion Portuguese and Macaonese cuisine and architecture, and a compact space of surprises. Visit the landmark of Macau, the ruins of the Church of St. Paul, and see the interesting mix of symbols, including the Virgin Mary with two flowers, the peony representing China. After visit the Taipa and Kolain villages, which offer a glimpse into the old Macau, and a reminder of the era before Macau became the Vegas of Asia. Check out the many eateries offering a mix of local and Portuguese cuisine. Locals will be quick to tell you that the best seafood can be found in Sai Khan, and Seafood Street will present an overwhelming selection of seafood, some of which may be so exotic you can't identify. Even if you're not a fan, bring your camera along to capture the action on the floating seafood market where all the haggling action is. Seafood aside, the Saikon also offers a dose of nature in the form of beautiful beaches and hiking trails. Head to Long Kai Wang for a pretty beach that could fool you into thinking you're a tropical paradise. Sai Wan Beach and the Shenlok streams are also great options, especially if you like cliff jumping. If you're into hiking, Saikon offers really interesting trails, including one that takes you on a hike around the peninsula with expansive views of mountains, coastlines, as well as rare and unique rock forms. Life slows down and cars are rarely seen on Chen Chao Island, a fishing village with beaches, great seafood, hills, and temples. The island is an antidote to the madness of the city. Another reason to visit Chen Chao Island is for the Bun Festival. The Bun Festival is held annually and is a Taoist festival that has its roots in fishing communities when seamen would pray for safety from pirates. As the name suggests, the highlight of the festival has buns as its main feature. At Pak Tai Temple, three giant bamboo towers are covered with buns and in the past, brave young men would race up the tower for the buns. The greater the height, the better the luck will be bestowed upon the man's family. In addition, you will also be treated to a visual feast of traditional dances in a parade with elaborate costumes and loud ritualistic music. So what are you waiting for? Ready to visit Hong Kong? Click the link on the screen to create your own tour. And don't forget to subscribe for more awesome videos about China and Hong Kong.